so we're going to talk about culling. So culling can be a useful management practice for lameness because it's a way of removing animals that are persistently or repeatedly lame from your flock. These animals can act as a source of infection for the rest of the flock um, and therefore it can be useful to remove these um, to improve your overall levels of lameness. It's important not to just rely on memory when you see a, a lame sheep that you decided you want to cull. You should try and either use an EID reader to record or make a note of the ear tag number so that you remember which sheep you've identified. In the same way, it's also useful when you treat sheep for lameness to record which animals you treated so that you can keep a record of whether certain animals are being treated repeatedly or are not improving with treatment. Often you'll find within a flock that there are a very small number of animals that are repeatedly or persistently lame and by culling this small number you can often actually make quite a big difference to the number that you have left to treat as those animals could often be accounting for a lot of the treatments that you're giving. Another way to deal with culling is to consider separating affected animals into a, a treatment group for management and if treatment is successful you can return those animals to the flock and if it's not successful you can then consider those that haven't recovered for culling. Research has shown that in flocks where animals are left to be persistently lame before culling actually have higher levels of lameness. So it's worth keeping track of which animals you're treating and trying to make decisions on culling earlier rather than waiting for them to be chronically lame and then removing them from the flock.